Hi, my name is Tusita. Welcome to my biology class. It's my name. And uh, you can uh, contact me by just logging to the, my website. That's a website. And that's my telephone number. Right? Today, I'm going to talk about the photosynthesis. So, photosynthesis is online video. You will see uh, several video under this topic photosynthesis, like photosynthesis 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. So, this is the introduction, photosynthesis 1. That's the introduction. Okay, what is photosynthesis? Now, photosynthesis we can divide into two. That's a photo and the synthesis. The meaning of photosynthesis is using the light energy, some of the organisms can produce chemical energy. So, we write this uh, photosynthesis some molecules, example carbon dioxide, which is like a water molecules, they're going to combine into sugar molecule like glucose, and probably oxygen is the waste product of this reaction. That means the energy, these two molecules, is coming from the sunlight. So the sunlight energy is produced into chemical energy. So chemical energy is coming from the glucose, that's a ATP, adenosine triphosphate. So the process is the sunlight solar energy converting to the metabolic energy ATP. So this is called photosynthesis. That's a generation of energy using the light energy, chemical energy, light energy, chemical energy. That's a photosynthesis. So photosynthesis pathway, the reaction, we just write the chemical reaction like this. Plus oxygen, plus energy. So if you want to balance the reaction, 6, 6, and 6. That's the photosynthesis. That's the reaction of the photosynthesis. So in this reaction, we can see it's a very simple, it's a one reaction. But this reaction is very complicated and it is actually combination of many reactions. So basically the photosynthesis is the conversion of light energy into a metabolic energy ATP. Some organisms can do this one. So let's see who can do this photosynthesis reaction. Okay, now you can see in this picture the plant. So they are the primary producer. What does that mean? They produce food for all plants. Apart from plants, some algae that come under protoctis and bacteria. That's called cyanobacteria. So that's a prokaryotes. So they can also do photosynthesis, but their contribution in terms of the primary producers are not much significant. The plants are the number one. So here you can see a picture of the plant. 
and here bacteria, cyanobacteria. And this one is the algae. Algae usually they grow on the water le levels like this on the top of the water. So all these plants, algae, cyanobacteria, since they can make their own food, we call autotrophs. We call them autotrophs. Why we call autotrophs? They can make their own food. Since they are using the sunlight energy, we call them photoautotrophs. So are the photoautotrophs, the organism they can make their own food using sunlight energy. That's our plants, algae, cyanobacteria. Okay, what we have learned from this lesson, the photosynthesis is the process in which light energy is trapped by certain organism and that is used to convert into metabolic energy, chemical energy like glucose, eventually this energy is the adenosine triphosphate which is available for all living organisms. And who is doing this? Plants, cyanobacteria and algae. Hence we call them photoautotrophs. Why we call photoautotrophs? They can produce their own food using the sunlight energy. Let's go to the next video, video 2, to see how plants organize in such a way to make their structures to perform photosynthesis reaction.